Nokia and Microsoft introduced two new smartphones, the Lumia 820 and 920, at a joint announcement in New York. The devices boast wireless charging, improved cameras, and will run on the new Microsoft Windows 8 operating system. The partnership is important, says Nokia chief executive Stephen Elop. In order to deliver consumers a competitive experience, Nokia needed to be part of an ecosystem. The ecosystem is the blend of software, hardware, and digital networks. Companies like Apple and newer player Google with its Android operating system have created ecosystems that dominate the smartphone and computer tablet markets. Elizabeth Fife studies the mobile computing industry at the University of Southern California and says Microsoft is hoping for some of the action. You have the services, the, the device itself, and when you control both of those elements, you have more power. You have the power of a platform. Motorola, which Google purchased in May, is introducing three new versions of its classic Razer phone. Like the new Nokia smartphones, they will run on the 4G, or fourth generation high speed network. Microsoft hopes to change the landscape with Windows 8, a new operating system which will feature versions for personal computers, smartphones, and tablets, says Elizabeth Fife. The Apple versus Google um, uh, ecosystems that we've seen in the past uh, two or three years, perhaps there will be a new player, which is, is a good thing. Upcoming announcements from other companies will broaden the playing field. New devices should include a new Kindle e-reader from Amazon, an iPhone from Apple, and in late October, a new tablet from Microsoft that will run on Windows 8. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.